Welcome to Books in Sum. Here go to for bite-sized book summaries. The High Conflict Couple by Alan E. Frizzetti Conflict is a core part of many relationships, and when things get heated and tempers flare, it can lead to problems. Alan E. Frizzetti has a wealth of experience that will help you regulate your emotions and resolve problems in a way that builds longer, more meaningful relationships. In these book bites, you'll learn how to get to the root of your conflicts, gain valuable skills to help you understand yourself better along the way, and discover what it takes to stop fights before they even occur. Being mindful of your emotional state helps you avoid unnecessary fights, as everyone has a baseline emotional state where they're able to think clearly and communicate well. Emotional arousal occurs when something knocks you out of this baseline, and research shows that small to moderate amounts of stress keep you alert and improve performance at tasks. The most important details in this book are the importance of mindfulness and creating meaningful shared activities in order to reduce conflict in a relationship. Mindfulness involves being more aware of how you're feeling and learning to describe your feelings without judgment. This will help lower your arousal and put you in a state where you can assess the situation without creating unnecessary conflict. Additionally, making quality time with your partner fun is key to reducing conflict. Many couples spend a lot of time passively together, but this can increase feelings of loneliness and contribute to negative emotions. To turn things around, it is important to be actively together and create meaningful shared activities. To have healthy conversations, it is important to be direct and upfront about your wants. To express your emotions accurately, it helps to know what you want going into a conversation. Effective verbal communication has two key elements, accurate expression and validation. To make sure you're going into the conversation with the right mindset, stay aware of your goals and listening carefully. Accurate expression is being honest and not casting judgments. It is important to be open with your partner and consider what they want out of their conversations. Validation is an important part of accurate expression, as it helps to build trust and quality communication. It can be as simple as eye contact or nodding, but it is important to verbally acknowledge what you're told. Validation helps to reduce negative arousal and builds closeness, which is vital for real communication to happen. The better the experience of opening up to someone, the more likely they are to continue talking to them in the future. Analyze your problems if you want to find the root cause and come up with a solution. Good communication won't stop problems, but it will give you the tools to manage them. The first step to managing a problem is identifying it, which can be trickier than you think. Use clear expression and validation skills to learn how your partner is feeling and get to the heart of the problem. For example, if you and your partner tend to argue over who does the dishes, there's likely a deeper cause. By sitting down and discussing both sides, you may find a way to resolve the issue. Accept the things you can't change by finding new meaning in your partner's behavior. It may seem counterintuitive at first, but this approach gives you the opportunity to learn more about yourself and your own emotions. It is important to be specific and detailed when analyzing the problem and to generate solutions as a team. Negotiations involve giving up some things to win others, so it is important to find an approach that works for both of you. If you've been trying and failing to get your partner to change, take a moment and consider your mindset. Relationship conflicts can be avoided by practicing mindfulness in conversations and recognizing each other's emotions. To do this, make a list of small, considerate things you can do for your partner and practice mindfulness. Small, affectionate gestures with no strings attached are a great way to spend quality. Time with your partner. When you do something from the list, notice how you feel, be mindful of your partner's reaction, and recognize the affection you feel toward them. Remember, there's always a bigger picture and focusing on differences and drawbacks is a choice. We hope you found this summary helpful in your listening journey. If you're interested in diving deeper into the topic or getting your hands on the whole book, be sure to check the description below where we've included links to the book and other related products that may be useful to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest book summaries. And feel free to leave a comment with any suggestions or requests for books you'd like us to cover. Thanks again for tuning in and happy listening.